Hi, Ben of a business strategist here. Another Monday morning, another opportunity for some motivation. We want to get this week off to a good week. We're just into a brand new financial year and it's an excellent time to be uh, just checking on what's been happening, making sure that you're well placed to move forward into this new financial year to take advantage of all the opportunities you've either built up over the last whatever period of time or you've simply planned. Either way, it's got, going to be a good thing. Whether you've been working to, to arrive at a position where you can move forward from or whether you've simply planned and you're starting afresh. With this COVID-19 thingy that's happening at the moment, there'll be quite a few people, I imagine, who have reassessed their, their business situation and they might have decided that they're not going to continue playing. They might have decided that they were in the wrong spot. They want to move to a different spot. There'll be a whole range of reasons why people want to move forward, which is part of what we want to talk about today. From time to time, it's a really good idea. Just take a few minutes, sit down and examine what's been going on. Give your business a vet check if you like. Yeah, how often do we take our pets to the vet? We get them checked out. Well, our business isn't all that much different. It requires a little vet check from time to time. We check our uh, fire alarms and what have you twice a year. And when do we do that? Do we set it for the equinox or do we set it for the time that we change for daylight saving? Whatever it is, we've got a, a set time when we do these things. And I like to look at the financial year, start of, end of, and the calendar year, start of, end of. There's a nice little period where you can sit down, take half an hour, have a good look at what's been going on, make some plans about your future. One of the th easiest ways, one of the easy things to check out to see if there's anything that you might reassess is a SWOT analysis. Have a look at your strengths, your weaknesses, your opportunities, your threats. What's going on out there in business land? Now, every day, things are changing. If we don't pay really close attention to what's going on in our business, our business might change and move away from where we thought it was. We get new staff on. We get a different type of customer comes in. Maybe our staff haven't been trained as well as they might have been. And whose fault is that? <laughs> Got to look at all these things. If your staff aren't telling the story that you want told, you're going to end up with a different customer. If your view of your business is not aligned with your customer's view of your business, you could be in strife. You could be dealing with the wrong people as customers. And if you're dealing with the wrong people as customers, you're going to have a, no end of trouble. Because if you're dealing with the right customer, that is your ideal customer, things run along smooth, smoothly. So look to your strengths, your weaknesses, your opportunities, your threats. Have they changed? If they've changed, is it a good change? Do we need to change them back? Do we need to change them to something else? You know, our behaviours, that is, because you, your behaviour is you know, predicated on whatever your strengths, your weaknesses, your opportunities and your threats are. So have a good look. Take the time to really think about it. And if you don't know what your strengths are, go and find somebody and ask them. Sometimes it's difficult to look at ourselves and figure out what it is that is a strength, a weakness, an opportunity or a threat. And it's a good idea not to be embarrassed by that if, if you have difficulty with that. And the reason you shouldn't be embarrassed is we've got this thing called an ego. And very often our ego won't let us objectively look at what's going on in our own space. So find a friend. <laughs> if you haven't got a friend that'll help, Find somebody that you know but isn't a friend and get them to help. Find a coach, get them to help. There's probably a lot of people around who could help 
It's just a matter of finding one, asking the right questions, identifying you know, what is a strength of yours? What opportunities do you have? How can you take advantage of them? And of course, that's the second step of all of this. Identifying these things is one thing. Recognising how you can take advantage of your strengths and your opportunities and how to avoid the weaknesses and the threats. That's the second part. And that is extremely important. Knowing what they are, one thing. Knowing how to take advantage of them, another. And that's what makes the difference in business. Knowing what they are, taking action and doing it. So here we are, still early on Monday. Let's get out and make this an even better week than we had last week. And I'll see you Monday.